as we move ever closer to the end of another week, lockdown of course continues here in the northeast and across the country. So let's now take a little look at the state of the streets. Well, after hearing from the Mayor of Middlesbrough, Andy Preston, earlier this week, he reiterated his decision to keep parks closed across Middlesbrough as the town continues to be the most COVID-19 vulnerable, explaining instead how many other beautiful hotspots there are to explore. First of all, we, we opened the park some time ago and there was a, a significant amount of bad behaviour that was risky, could spread this killer disease. Secondly, it alarmed a lot of residents. It raised the anxiety levels for an awful lot of people. Questions continue to be raised about the state the continued lockdown measures could be having on the economy, with a debate seemingly beginning on whether restrictions should be eased as soon as is safe to save the economy from what many are estimating could be its biggest ever economic crash. It comes as research by Sky News reveals that coastal and ex-industrial towns are most economically at risk from the COVID-19 pandemic. In a list of the top 10 areas that could be worst hit, Peterlee in County Durham leads the way for the northeast as the seven most at risk small town in the country economically from coronavirus. The study also reveals that those areas with a high independence on jobs in the retail sector could also suffer. Wickham in the northeast, for example, has the highest percentage of its population employed in retail, touching 38%. Hospital trusts in our region have also seen a steady increase in deaths, with South Tyneside and Sunderland NHS Foundation Trust reporting the worst death figures for the region, seeing 208 COVID-19 related deaths. Well, there's a lot for those looking after our wonderful region to be focusing on. Wherever you are, stay safe.